What is up, YouTube people? I'm here today with the Schuyler Canterbury Black Goat Skin Bible, and uh, this is the one-year review, Everyday Carry. Let's get into it. So yes, this is the Schuyler Canterbury Black Goat Skin Bible, and since I've had this Bible, I have had it in this case. Just to give a little extra protection. Here she is. So as you can see, the leather is held up just fine. No wearing off of the spine. It's all in great shape still. Um, everything's still holding up really well. The ribbons. The text block is held up, has not started peeling away at all. And these tassels have held up pretty well. The ends are starting to get a little frayed. I do use mine. Um, the top though, I do like to leave a little gap to help protect the pages a little bit. And as you can see, this Gold Art Guild is still, let's see if I can get some better light on it, still holding up nicely. Obviously it does look worn and used. These Bibles do not like water at all. As you can see here, I have gotten some water spots on them. But other than that, this thing is a workhorse. I do use this every single day. Um, I take it to church every Sunday, Wednesday, Thursdays. Um, I take it camping. I take it to work. I take it out of town. I use it anywhere and everywhere I go. I've taken it out witnessing in the streets. Um, this Bible is amazing. These Bibles are made to be used, not to just sit on a shelf. So don't be afraid if you do have one to use it. Um, the other thing I had, I don't know how or what happened, but while it was in my Bible case, it uh, somehow these pages had folded over and got smashed, and it's basically the whole book of Genesis. This is where it basically happened, but other than that, it's holding up nicely. Um, these Bibles, this paper, does not like water so if you are a finger licker i'd break that habit now just get used to turning the pages without them this is the 28 gsm paper um it's super nice the ghosting is nowhere near what the camera's picking up it is line matched very beautiful read um <clears throat> Like I said, I do use this all the time. So in the mornings when I drink my coffee and read, I did uh, happen to spill one of the times. Let's see if I can find it here. It was in Romans. I believe it was Romans 6. I'll show you kind of what happens to the paper. That would be why I'm in Acts, not Romans. <laughs> so if you notice here, it did get some water, coffee spilt on it. Um, these pages, like I said, is 28 GSM, so you do have to be a little more careful when you're flipping the pages. Just get your hands a little further into the page before flipping it. I did tear a page in 2 Corinthians. Which I believe uh, people have been talking about the archival book tape. I was thinking about trying. Let's see where that was. These Bibles are phenomenal though. Like I said, if you're wondering how they hold up. There it is right there. They hold up just fine. Um, 
I, I'm also in Bible Institute, so I'm constantly flipping through books and chapters and pages, and it's getting used every single day. And, I mean, it's holding up super well. I'm really impressed with how well it's held up over the year that I've had it. Um, you know, if I use a .005 micron pen for all my underlining and writing in the Bible. Um, there's no bleed through. I mean, it works great. Holds the ink very well. And yeah, I'm excited to see how this holds up with the years to come. I mean, lots of lots of writing and underlining in this Bible. I just lost focus there. Don't know what happened. There we go. added stuff to it for witnessing I'm just gonna be doing a lot more marking in it haven't brought myself to try highlighting in it yet um, I do have a friend that has this Bible and he highlights in his and again no bleed through any of the pages that holds the highlighters he uses very well um, very impressed with this Bible I mean the 11 point Milo font it's super crisp and clean I don't know why it's not focusing. I mean, it's super easy on the eyes. Those drop caps are beautiful. You know, the single single column format in the Book of Psalms. It's just truly an amazing Bible. So that is basically it. If you want to know more about this Bible, um, go to evangelicalbible.com. I'll leave the link in the description so you can go and check them out on their website for yourself. And if you want a more in-depth review, I did make a video of this Bible that you can check out on my page as well. So like I said, this is a one-year one -year review and well, uh, I plan on using this for the years to come, so we'll see how it holds up year by year. Anyways, thanks for watching. God bless.